covering Jefferson City tonight. Despite recent crashes and comments from the governor suggesting change, the Missouri Department of Transportation does not have any projects planned to work on the tri-level in the capital city. Two weeks ago, we told you about two crashes at the areas of highways 50, 54, and 63. The first delayed traffic for five hours, and the second sent a woman to the hospital. Our ABC 17's Mitchell Kaminsky spoke with a MoDOT engineer today to find out if they have anything planned to address years' worth of complaints about the tri-level. The tri-level is on the Missouri Department of Transportation's list of high-priority needs. However, it is only on Tier 2 of a three-tiered list, despite plenty of complaints over the years. However, those complaints haven't gone unnoticed by MoDOT. I think this, the situations of crashes are much more notable because they, because those three routes come together and can converge in that point, any kind of impact impacts the flow on all of them. So certainly it is much more noticeable when it does happen. So why is the tri-level only in Tier 2 of 3? According to Watkins, the first tier is for needs that MoDOT could deliver within the next five years if they have the money. Tier 2 and 3 could take up to 10 years to complete. Traffic planning groups help set each tier. Fixing the tri-level will be difficult and ultimately boils down to money. Before that, a study would need to be done. However, MoDOT only conducts studies for projects if they plan to move forward. Work on the tri-level is estimated to cost $40 million. Rex Witten Expressway is also on Tier 2, which would cost around $50 million. We would likely want to study that together to be sure that whatever solutions move forward coordinate with one another well, uh, but it's a significant investment. Missouri's most recent budget spent $2.8 billion to expand lanes on I-70. So where is the money for a tri-level project? We have a construction program that covers five years' worth of projects. So each year, we have a new year rolling in, we have an updated forecast, and we look at available funding, and then we look at uh, several planning documents. That was ABC 17's Mitchell Kaminsky reporting. MoDOT is accepting public comments through Thursday on its website.